Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching full tech yesterday we created the new video for the Oxygenus 13 open beta 1 for the OnePlus Nord 2 there we told how you can apply for this open beta program this application window is only open until 8 March 2023 so today is the last day to apply for this update I was using the Oxygenus 12 C13 and after applying to this beta program today at morning I got this new Oxygenus 13 F20 open beta 1 update which is of 5gb in the size if you guys didn't got this update and you didn't apply it for the open beta program don't worry i have given the link of full ot and the video description you can flash that update for stock recovery like as shown in this icard video as i got this ot i started to download and install whole flashing process will take 10 to 15 minutes today in this video will thoroughly check out what's new got in this update new Oxygenus 13 features walkthrough performance and stability check for this new OTA how to roll back to Oxygenus 12 and at the end I shown some bugs with my final verdict so watch the video till the end now without further ado let's get started On the new adventure. After flashing got done, phone booted with the new setup of Oxygenus 13. Remember this update will not wipe your data. After completing the setup in the notification panel, we get the system notification to charge the phone at least for the 2-3 to three hours in the screen off mode. So system will get fully optimized before actual usage. No visible changes has been found in the launcher. It's similar like the old Oxygenus 12 build. Later in the notification panel, we get the quick overview for this new Oxygenus 13 Android 13 new features that we will thoroughly discuss later in this video. Now let's jump to the about phone to check the details of this new update. In the about phone, if you tap on the OT updater, it's showing we are upgraded to the new Oxygenus 13 F20 update and here we will get the full change log details for this update also. In the Android version, it's showing this is the Android 13 with the same material clock register. Security patch is of February 2023. While under the version tab, it's showing this is the F20 build with the Kana version number 4.19.191+. Now let's check out the full tour of change log for this update. New Oxygenus 13 is based on the aquamorphic design theme colors for the enhanced visual comfort. If you go to the launcher setting, here under the wallpaper section, we get the new inventory wallpaper setting. We have to just select any wallpaper from the gallery or click any picture using camera. Once done, system will modify the picture and gives us the different wallpaper to choose, which has same theme ascents of the wallpaper. While applying the wallpaper, we can change the ascent themes of the system. We get the bunch of different colors to choose. But wallpaper based retheming is the best part of Android 13 and 12. With the combination of new aquamorphic system, it's applying the correct theme colors to the overall system. With the every different wallpaper, we get the different shades of ascent colors which makes pleasant environment to use your device. As the part of usual changes, we get this new volume panel control which has the different media ring, notification and alarm slider horizontally arranged. New Oxygenus 13 animation will be found everywhere in the system. This is the new aquamorphic design philosophy to the animations to make them natural and vivid to make overall system users pleasant. Who gets lots of quick setting panel shortcuts like the Wi-Fi, network, Bluetooth, hotspot, etc. Previously in the Oxygenus 12, limited numbers of such shortcuts were available. On the home screen of the launcher, who gets the quick enlarge setting to enlarge the app folder. Just long press the folder and select the enlarge option. We can access the content of folder by swapping the applications. Later we can shrink the folder using the same setting. If you place any media who gets the now playing tile in the quick setting panel, it will permanently available there once we play the songs. We can pause forward or backward the songs. Actually Oxygenus 13 now playing tile looks different from the pure Android 13 now playing tile. Oxygenus 13 comes with the new advanced shape which can be enabled in the main setting of the phone. Here we can set the swipe gesture from the middle of the screen on the home screen which will give the access to the new shelf. This shelf has the universal search tab along with the multiple useful tiles. In the main setting we get the app sidebar. If we enable this we get the small pill at the right edges of the screen 
who can change its position and opacity also. Here we can add the multiple application as per our wish. Long pressing this application and dragging in the currently running application will open the split screen of this application. Single tap will open the app in a multi window. New Oxygenus 13 has the new always on display customizations options. Like we guess the toggle to enable the full detail music playback control with the tips and food deliveries. But it's compatible with the only supported applications like the Spotify, Swiggy, Zomato, etc. Who gets the new Beat Emojis setting? To use this, we need to install the Beat Emojis application from the Play Store. While setting the canvas, we would case the different outline color styles and eraser mode to customize the canvas AOD. You can check that in the video. So these are all the new visual and advanced features we've seen. Now in regard of the safety, Android 13 added new privacy related features like the apps like banking, UPI payment application, Facebook or WhatsApp profile pages and the contact in the recent will be automatically get unviewable for the safety of personal data. Clipboard data gets automatically cleared after some duration. System will also show which applications are accessing the clipboard data. While copying the text, you get the new Android 13 clipboard accessible on the keyboard, which can be editable before final pasting. New Oxonus 13 uses the advanced encryption standard AES to encrypt all the files for the enhanced security of private files. So no worry of your pin locked device if it's got stolen. No one can decrypt his pins or the password to access your mobile phone's data. New update comes with the new gaming mode, which has upgraded to the Hyperboost GPA 4.0 to stabilize the frame rates and balance the performance and power consumption in key scenarios. Overall looks of the games mode has been also changed where we get lots of tunables to set the performance mode, touch optimizations, game focus mode, system info, etc. Now let's take the quick tour of Android 13 features. In the quick setting panel we get the notification dot at the three dot menu setting. There we get the active background running application list. This is pretty useful because sometimes some system application stays in background and drains the battery so you can stop them using this setting. Next is your phone and your style. We already seen the wallpaper based color theming but you can also enable the wallpaper based theme by icons under the icon setting. They enable the match wallpaper color toggle under the custom setting of the icons which will themes the dock and the application door icons which looks cool. Next is the all application will ask for the notification access when it tries to send the notification to you. Like here I installed the WhatsApp and when I tried to set up who gets the notification access pop up prompt. Now let's check out some other features or the unique customizations for the Android 13. First is the image sharpener helps to improve the images color when you try to check the picture under gallery. Who gets the custom O emoji which can be applied on the profile pictures for the different applications like the OnePlus community, WhatsApp, etc. Flexible window is the another setting which is useful for the multitasking. You can enable the multi window toggle and can access it under the recent panel using the three dot menu available for the each recent application. Who can move the app window or enlarge or minimize it by dragging its corner. Next way to enable the multi window for the application is by tapping the apps available in the app sidebar. Finally, Android 13 signature feature one handed mode is available in this Android 13 build. Under the special feature option, you get the kids mode, which has some additional features added in this update like distance from the phone, ambient light, and the sitting posture reminders in the kids space. Adds eye comfort in the kids face to protect the children visions also. New update has the new advanced work life balance application. Assist to ball is the new gesture based on navbar method to access the multiple options like the back key, recent menu access, notification panel and recent panel access etc. We have to just assign the task for the single tap, long press, swipe for the assist to ball and it works as per that. So we did the complete review of all the new features as per the change log. Now let's check out the performance of new update. 
OnePlus claimed that they added new dynamic computing engine to improve the system speed, stability, battery life and the app experience. I enabled the show FPS setting under the developer option and here I checked all the applications. Most of the applications stayed constantly on the 90 FPS. Even though some application goes to the 60 FPS when you didn't touch the screen for a while. But as soon as you touch the screen, it goes to the 90 Hz. It's pretty good battery saving approach. Some application like the camera still runs on the 60 Hz. Overall performance of this device is amazing. Apps opening, closing, switching between the applications, animations, haptic feedbacks, all the things are fluid and fast, which gives the amazing user experience in this new Oxonos 13. Let's run the Geekbench without performance mode. Here we got the 1105 and 3128 for the single and multi-core which is good score. And it's closer to my OnePlus 9RT results. I enabled the performance mode under the battery setting and then ran the Geekbench one more time. Now I got the score of 1036 and 3314. Here slight drop found for the single core performance but the multi-core performance improved a lot. These results are highly improved as compared to the last C10. There I got the only 805 and 3062 with the performance mode. I kept the performance mode enabled and then ran the OpenGL GPU graphics API test and I got the score of 4771. On the old C10 I got the score of 5158. So the GPU performance seems lower in case of new Oxonus 13. While for the Vulkan graphics API I got the score of 5037. While for the old build C10 I got the score of 5027 which is same as Oxonus 13. So overall Oxonus 13 has very good CPU performance as compared to the Oxonus 12 versions. And you will find the improved performance for each and every task in this update. Next I did the CPU total test at the normal room temperature where we have 42 to 45 degrees Celsius temperature. I ran the test for the 5 minutes on the 20 threads. All the previous Oxonus 12, C10 to C13 builds has the bad results in the CPU throttling. Here also CPU performance graph started to fall down immediately after the start of the test. Till the end of the test there was no improvement and finally when I stopped the test I got the score of 72% which is very bad score. If we check the old C10 build results there we got the score of 62% which is also bad result. So final conclusion about CPU throttling is that this build also has the same issue of CPU throttling like old Oxonus 12 from the C07 to C12. OnePlus has to check this issue and please fix it as early as possible. Oxonus 11 builds always given me more than 85% of results every time. So we checked each and every aspects of this OTA and now it's time to show you the bugs or the issues. Like all the old Oxonus 12 builds, this build also didn't have the fast boot mode. If you power up the device and long press the volume down plus power button, device will show you some mismatch error and reboots back to the stock OS. This is the big problem for the power users like me because we can't use the TWRP or the custom ROM directly on such builds and even we can't recover them if something goes wrong. Next issue I found is when I ran the safety net check CTS profile got failed. This is because of unlocked boot of my device. So we can't run the banking and security related application on such unlocked Oxonus 13 build. Previously I was able to use them and CTS profile is also getting passed. If your device bootloader is locked then you don't have to worry, you will not face this issue. Except this issue I did not found any major drawback. If you want to roll back to the stock Oxonus then enable the developer setting and flash back the package given under the video description using the local install available in the 3 dot menu of OTA setting. You can follow the iCard video to roll back your device. This process will erase whole your data and revert back your device to the Oxonus 12. My final conclusion about this build is that it's an amazing update which is powerhouse of performance, feature is useful content everywhere in the ROM along with the beautiful animations so I definitely recommend you to at least try it once to know the beauty of this update. That's it for today guys. If you think this video helped you then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.